Hello everyone, it's Eddie here. Today I want to talk about um, when you draw a graph and you press trace, you will see that if you press left and right on the arrow keys, all the numbers are not whole numbers. Okay, there's so many uh, numbers after the decimal point and you can't get to an exact number. So I want to talk about how to fix that. So the first way is to press second uh, trace which really gets to the calc function and then if you choose value which is number one then you can type in a number for x and the cursor will jump to that value so let's try x equals three press enter and the cursor will jump to x equals three and you can see the exact y value now just make sure that if you want to jump to an x value that um, it has to be part of the uh, grid so for example right now in my viewing window I've got x minimum is negative 10 so in my graph if I put in second trace and then value and then if I put in a number outside of negative 10 let's say negative 15 it will come up with an error message. So um, if you want to go to x is negative 15 then you have to change the viewing window to contain number 15. So let's say number uh, negative 16. Right? Then when you graph it, okay, then you can go to second trace and value and put in negative 6, uh, 15 and it'll tell you when x is negative 15 y is 49 so yeah um, even though it's not shown on the graph now another thing I want to show you is that you can get to a table of values so if you press second window which gets to the table set function and let's say I want to find out what um, all the x and y values are of this line from um, x is 0 so you can just press 0 here press enter and press enter again and if you go to uh, second graph then you can see a table of values when x is 0 y is 4 when x is 1 y is 1 when x is 2 y is negative 2 and so on because that is my equation Right, negative 3 times x plus 4 so you can see a table of values and you can keep going down to see more numbers so yeah very useful and you can keep going up to see the negative numbers so you can see all the whole numbers so yeah two solutions to this problem I hope it helps you thanks for watching see you next time